Alright, so what's going on folks? Well, we're back at it again today, out running around doing outlaw things. So, uh, the plan for today is we're heading out to the gun range. We're going to go shoot this AR. Uh, I got a call from Chris last night, said that uh, there's a good chance we might be able to go and stick a few pigs this evening. So, uh, man, I'm slacking, man. It's been like two months I've had this AR and I just haven't had a chance to get out to the gun range. Uh, been out there twice I guess since I got it and every time I go out there it's packed up so I just don't want to deal with going out there and trying to uh, shoot this son bitch in so uh, you know I'm gonna go stick a pig I'd rather take the AR than the, hunt, the regular hunting rifle so uh, yeah took a little bit of time out of work today and heading out there to go do it so uh, let's get into this video all right so we're sighting in to start off with at the 25 I've, I've shot four rounds through it and it looks like we are down about an inch and maybe three inches to the right so I'm gonna dial in the scope a little bit and see what we got on there all right, so I moved it three clicks initially, and it didn't do much. Um, so I moved it four more clicks to the right, and let's see what this does. So I moved it around and I've got it shooting pretty much where I want it at. Now I just need to take it up a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and try that one out. So that was basically 10 rounds. And I would say out of 10, eight of them were on the orange in the center. So at 25 yards, we're good. Definitely good. I'm gonna be 100% with y'all. I don't feel it needs to have any more rounds shot through it. It's shot on. But you know, the other flip side of the coin is uh, I wanna shoot it some more. So I'm gonna run another 10 rounds through it. That's basically, let's see, 30, 60. It's basically 90 rounds I'll have run through it. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. All right, so uh, we basically shot this video over here at uh, Bracken Gun Range. It's just a little hole in the wall gun range in Bracken, Texas, which for those of you that don't know, it's basically on the far north side of town bracken is if you follow nacogdoches outside of 1604 uh, you basically run into bracken right before you get to 3009 and all that kind of stuff so uh like i said it's just a little hole in the wall gun range old school mom and pop spot and uh came out here and shot uh roughly about 20 40 60 between 60 to 80 rounds through it and i would say the last 
40 shots were probably you know hole on top of hole so i'm pretty content with it have y'all with me for a little bit longer what i'm basically going to do is roll back to the house drop the ar off run to academy pick me up a sling so that way if chris and i do go trying to stick us a pig i can just sling that bitch up over my shoulder and not have to worry about uh you know full on carrying the blunt of it if we end up walking around pick up another box of shells and then uh when I get back to the house, I'll get back with y'all on camera and I'm going to do a walk around on the gun. Um, this is the same gun. I'm going to try to link the previous video right here at the top, but this is the same gun that uh, picked up for Christmas and told y'all about. Um, so anyways, I'll do a walk around on the gun. It's changed a lot since the last time y'all saw it. It's got a uh, different butt stock on it now. It's got a different hand guard on it now. I put the scope on it. Um, of course, I'm going to go pick up the sling right now. This is a real budget AR. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. This is a real budget AR. It's nothing real fancy. Um, I think at this point with handguard change, uh, stock change, scope, and the price of the gun, I'm maybe in at about $650 on the gun. Um, like I said, I, at this point, I have no complaints on the gun. I just ran 80 to 90 rounds through it, and you know, it shoots good and clean. Uh, does everything it's supposed to do. So, you know, for a low-budget gun, it's not bad at all. So, let me get these errands run, and I'll get back on camera here. Hi, folks. Like I said, I'm back from Academy. I'm back from buying the little stuff that I needed to pick up to uh, get ready to go. And... Uh, like I said, I would go and do a uh, walkthrough on the gun, basically what it is, what's changed, and so on and so forth from that previous video. Um, so I guess we'll start off with first is this was our uh, handguard that came with the stock Oracle TPS, and you know, very lacking, very yeah. Um, I switched it out with a uh, big box store, basically uh, Mission First Tactical. Um, handguard there will be links to all this stuff down in the description uh, I'll switch that out give it a little bit sleeker look a little bit more uh, you got the holes here that you can add rails to stuff like that um, in the rear I was looking for a mission first tactical uh, minimalist um, buttstock and just couldn't come up with anything that I liked I couldn't find one uh, was doing all the shopping right after Christmas. This is the the stalker and this is the mission first. Well, it's not mission first actually. It's If we can get the glare off this it's chaos weapon systems. I picked it up at a gun show um, Same thing. I'll link everything there. I'll have his website um, It was quite a bit cheaper in price and the quality was a lot better than the mission first tactical so I couldn't go wrong there um, Scope was just a cheap little Amazon pickup um, but even though it was cheap, I was really, really excited with it. It's got crosshairs, uh, illuminated crosshairs, and you got cho choices between red, green, blue. You've got a uh, level one, level two, and level three illumination on each color. And then uh, because this AR will be used as well as for hunting and self-defense or uh, home defense, we've got laser set up on it. You can see it shining, shining through the fish tank there. Um, I went ahead and put a laser on it so that way if if need be Melissa was home alone or whatever and she needed it to somebody come through the front door all she's got to do is basically hit that laser and let the damn gun eat so uh, like I said I'll leave a uh, link to that scope in there it's got it's got a sight built in on top like an iron sight with a uh, fiber optic picks up light uh, top bar on it um, to me, the sight up on the top kind of feels iffy. When I was at the range a little while ago trying to shoot it with it, it completely covered up the target at 25 yards. So, you know, you just basically were lobbing around. Um, so I really didn't get much of a feel for how it does, whatever. Uh, we rolled out to Academy earlier and I picked up one of these XTS Extreme Tactical Sports One Point Quick Detach Sling. And yeah, the price was okay on it. It was $14.99, but in my opinion, it was junk. It's, it's made for, I guess, a Yeti or a Bigfoot or something like that because 
Hell, I'm six foot four, and when I put it on the gun, the gun hung down, hung down by my foot, even on full adjustment. So, you know, that was kind of crap. Um, another deal that I picked up, not today, I've had it, I've had it for a while, was this uh, iProtec O2 beam, uh, green light with a gun mount and all that kind of stuff on it. It's for basically going to put it on the gun, be able to go out and hunt some hogs, be able to see them in the dark. That pretty much wraps it up, guys. Um, you know, that's basically the rundown of the gun. We finally got a chance to get out to the shooting range and go shoot it. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm extremely happy with it. It's a real cheap investment gun. It's not one of your higher end guns, but it performed just like I would expect it to. With the cheap scope on it and the lower priced gun, uh, you know, you've got target that's probably about this big. You've got your orange line, your orange block around the outside. You've got a white block in the center and then you've got orange dot that's about that size. At, 25 and 50 yards, I was basically putting hole on top of hole once I got the scope dialed, dialed in. So, uh, hell, I put 10 rounds in a spot that big at 50 yards. So, you know, I can't complain at all. The gun does everything it's supposed to do. Uh, definitely the DPMS or Panther Arms Oracle is a really good investment if you're wanting a lower end price range wise AR 15. Um, now here's something for 2019. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do an AR-15 build. I haven't decided if I wanted to build a uh, carbine or if I want to build an SBR, which is a short barrel rifle. Um, I haven't decided which way I'm going to go, but I'm going to buy a lower. I'm going to do the full assembly on video of lower, doing the assembly on the lower. Uh, I'm going to buy a barrel from somebody. I'm going to buy the buffer tube from somebody, blah, 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 put everything together. Um, take the gun out, shoot it, and get a feel for it. And basically what I'm pondering on doing is raffling it off on the channel. Um, basically, you know, selling X amount of spots for X amount of dollars. And when the spots are filled, we'll come up on the channel and uh, just do a raffle. When I do the raffle, I'll do a uh, name generator versus doing the pick of the hat. So that way it's 100% fair. And Basically, whoever wins it, as long as you're 18 years old, will transfer the numbers over into your name and uh, ship that some bitch to you. And guess what? You just want an AR-15 for real cheap price, and it'd be a custom-built AR. So should be pretty cool. Um, you know, as always, guys, I really appreciate y'all watching. I really appreciate you taking your time out to like and comment and all that kind of good stuff. Um, before we go down here. I'm going to have my Facebook link for the Outlaw TV Facebook page. I'm doing a giveaway right now on the Outlaw Facebook page. And uh, all you've got to do to get in on the giveaway is basically like the page, share the post, and tag at least one friend in it. So go check that out when you get a chance. Again, it's right there. Um, but like I said, thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. we got a video over there and a video over there. And of course, as always, hit that bass to win. Uh, hit that bass to subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it.